It's another hot and sticky one with expected daytime highs near 90 once again, but what'll get you are the humidity levels. It's just one of those days where you walk outside and you instantly start to sweat and your clothes stick to you. It's just very uncomfortable out here. I mean, I've been sweating off my makeup all day. It's probably all gone right now. This heat is hard enough as it is on humans, so just exactly how are the animals at Scoville Zoo dealing with this? Pretty well. They've still been pretty active, actually. You know, when we go in, we do go in with our wolves every day because they're socialized wolves, and they still come up to visit with us, and they still seem pretty exuberant. Zookeeper Heather Purdue says all the animals, along with the North American gray wolves, are dealing with the heat just fine. It just takes a little extra work to keep the animals cool in the summer heat. We just try to make sure that they always have plenty of water. They go through the water a lot faster, just like your dogs at home would do. So we just try to replenish their water continuously through the day. We may give them ice treats. Sometimes we will freeze little uh, dog treats or cheese or something yummy like that in ice blocks for them. And that's kind of a cool treat that they can chew up and enjoy. It's safe to say that all the animals at Scoville Zoo are dealing with this heat just fine. We just began the month of September, just ended August, and it certainly has not felt like it with our average daytime highs closer to 80. Kevin, when exactly are we gonna start seeing some relief? 